Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 28th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at our world weather. Always starting out looking at 304 angstroms on our sun the past 48 hours. Watching some pretty active regions, a little CME there, and as well a solar flare to talk about. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, there are no major crusting incoming sunspots. Things are quieting down a little bit. Solar X-ray flux is in B range right now after releasing a C-class flare today. Looking at outgoing imagery, still active sunspots there. Large plasma filaments erecting from the surface. Standing about 15 Earths tall. Amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Another close look at that large plasma filament. Active sunspot region. And as well, the most recent solar flare with a CME blast. Still not noted on the ISWA space prediction spiral. So not sure if that was Earth-facing, but LASCO 2 and 3 is showing at least a half-Earth-facing event. Looking at multi-spectrum here, of all the events, long, stretched-out coronal hole arcing across the equatorial regions of the Sun. Another light here. Darkened regions are the coronal hole, and we are in the coronal hole windstream right now from when it was Earth-facing about 36 hours ago. Other than that, there are no new coronal holes to talk about. Another close look here at 171 angstroms at our sun the past 48 hours. And welcome to the Daily Do. A lot of new family members following along. I welcome you and thank you so much for following. Having a look at solar X-ray flux. It is in B range after just releasing a C-class flare. Geomagnetic activity was up overnight, and that was with the accelerated w solar wind speed from the coronal hole wind stream. Looking at solar, real-time solar wind, up over 450 kilometers per second. It was almost at 600 earlier today as the coronal hole wind stream came through. And you can always tell because the density will drop as the wind speeds increase. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, not much has changed since our last video, last world update. Looking at LASCO 3 here, showing the most recent solar flare event that there was a CME blast, and there is the solar flare. So C-class solar flare with a pretty sizable coronal mass ejection coming with it. Another look here at Alaska 2, showing the event. Boom. Taking up at least a third of the sun's surface. We might get a little whack from that. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 32. Quieting down after being slightly accelerated yesterday up in 41 Amplitude of 32, quality of 7.1, power of 15. Now let's get to earthquakes here. The past 24 hours, we're going to start out with the largest out in the middle of the Mid-Atlantic Ocean. 5.7 rocking the Atlantic Ocean, northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge at a 10-kilometer depth. As well, a matching 5.7 in Fiji. Pangai Tonga, 5.7 there, as well just west Sola Vanuatu, 5.6, 200 kilometer depth. Looking across across Indonesia and up into Philippines, seeing a reoccurring process here, 4.3s, 4 4.4s 4 throughout the whole region. Steady resonance, 4.5 there in Guam. A couple minor earthquakes here through Japan. 4.7 and a 4.6, Katsura, Japan, as well a 4.0 here reported in Russia, Eastern Russia, 
activity building here through Alaska the last 48 hours, that's for sure. 3.5s ringing out across the Aleutians. Hawaii seeing some activity today, largest being a 2.7. And look at the caldera today. As it is overflowing a bit, filling up its caldera. Across the United States, North American plate. 3.3 here in Marble Mount, Washington reported as well. A whole bunch of explosions all across the Pacific Northwest. Minor earthquake there, California. 3.4 here reported Quinton, Oklahoma. But yeah, interestingly enough, I'll show you on USGS, all of the explosions that have been reported over the last little bit all across the Pacific Northwest. Sprague, Washington. Ulumkla, Washington. Cascadia, Veneta, Oregon, Carson, Washington. All up the coastline, the Dallas, Oregon. So what's going on there? A lot of pressure along the West Coast right now. Even the tremor map is increased and is showing life right from Vancouver Island down to Northern California. So heads up, everybody, we're still in an earthquake event right now. Just under 200 earthquakes across the USGS. 4.9 there reported East Pacific rise, as well as 4.3 there uh, Colombia, Dominican Republic, seeing activity increasing over the last little bit. And another quiet South American plate, only reporting a 4.1 there. 4.7 Iceland, also a notable earthquake. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick roundabout at the last seven days. Stay safe, everybody, and just have a plan. That's what this channel's all about. No fear here. It's all about staying aware and prepared and being ready for anything. These days we have to expect the worst and prepare for the best. Very busy planet this week, especially with that sizable earthquake South America. Heads up, North American plate. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Reventador in Ecuador. Sabankaya in Peru, Bezimieni in Russia, very sizable, up to 50,000 foot eruption. Having a look here at Zoom Earth, it is visible on satellite imagery. Looking at those brighter regions there, those are lit up. That is Bezimieni and as well Shivalich, just northwards. But a pretty big plume coming off of Bezimieni volcano for the past 24 hours heading into the West Pacific. And already Windy updating its SO2 models. Just look at it. it. It's been going since the 26th. But a very large eruption at Bezimieni today. Cloud tops eruption from the eruption reaching 50,000 feet. All this satellite imagery brought to you by Zoom Earth. Having a look here at Windy, showing the forecast model for the SO2. Quite a big plume coming off of Kamchatka right now with those two eruptions. Also, up into the Alaskan Peninsula. A lot of SO2 coming out of there. Stay tuned. Volcanic activity report will be coming tomorrow. Carrying on here with the volcanoes. Bezimieni in Russia. Manam. Papua New Guinea. Sangay in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevada, to Chilean, Swiss and Najima, Japan, Ibu, Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, Semeru, Indonesia. So it's definitely a volcano day as we've seen about 13 updates today and a large eruption at Bezimieni. Having a look here at satellite imagery across the world, still a long atmospheric river heading into Washington and Oregon this week. A lot of cloud cover across western parts of North America right now. And as well, a big system heading into New Zealand there. We only have one tropical storm to talk about. We have our first named 
Pacific cyclone. That's right. Tropical storm Agatha is alive and most likely will be a Category 2 as it makes landfall into Mexico. Most likely making landfall Sunday night into Monday. Tropical storm Agatha is alive and we'll see if it makes it right across Mexico and into the Gulf. Quite possibly rebuilding itself and heading into the Gulf Peninsula. Now let's get to weather here. This is your forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and daily events worldwide. Widespread showers across the west coast. Having a look here right away at forecast models for Tropical Storm Agatha. As you can see, Monday looks like it starts to make landfall. Monday into Tuesday. The forecast models can change, so stay tuned to daily updates. We'll keep you informed. Carrying on here across North America, big system that came through Ontario this week is now heading into Quebec, so watch for rain. Cloudy days across the Atlantic provinces in Quebec. You've got rain moving in for Sunday into Monday for parts of Manitoba. And big system here moving in across the Pacific Northwest. Snow falling in higher elevations. And then watch for that thing to whip into another storm affecting the Ontario and Manitoba border. Snow on the backside of that big system. Low pressure system coming into Washington and Oregon this week, Saturday, Sunday. Watch for stormy conditions through northern Alberta as waves of moisture come through. Overlooking South America, no major weather events coming your way. Pretty tight, tightly wound up system on the west coast. Watch for extreme weather to uh, next week, early into June parts of Argentina. Also watching this tr this system here through the West Atlantic. Overlooking at Europe. No major changes coming your way except for long range here. Low pressure system heading into Spain. Long range forecast. We'll have to see where that goes. Overlooking Africa. Daily evaporation rains through central regions. Congo. Other than that, no major weather events coming your way. Monsoon season is in full effect across Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia. Watch for heavy rains through Myanmar this week. As well, watch for quite a bit of rain heading into Australia. As there is possible tropical system here, it could build into something by tomorrow We'll see, but Sunday night, northwestern parts of Australia being affected. At the same time, a pretty big low is going to be affecting eastern parts of Australia and then heading into New Zealand. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.